Welcome. Hi, it's December 5th. Hopefully, when this is getting uploaded, it's going to be December 5th. Today, we're watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000. Starring Jim Carrey. Uh, to the IMDb, I read. On the outskirts of Whoville lives a green, revenge-seeking Grinch who plans to ruin Christmas for all the citizens of the town. That is that's a very short summary. I like how... Um, okay, I like how the writers... The first writer is Dr. Seuss and the parentheses book. Like, he actually wrote the movie. <laughs> Wait, when did he die again? I, before this. <laughs> and after... Before Cat in the Hat. I know that, because, like... The cat in the hat just like was <laughs> talk. The cat in the hat, because <laughs> the cat in the hat was like so bad. Well, I love cat in the hat. Maybe we'll talk about it sometime. But it was uh, like quote unquote so bad that his wife was like, uh, "No more live action Dr. Seuss movies." Oh yeah. Okay, I will forever stand by this. Cat in the hat is a good movie. But not a good cat in the hat movie. Yeah. Can't wait for that animated one that's coming out. Well, you know what would be better? Probably. If we all went to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Cha ching! Alright. So, this is gonna be a kind of a short intro. I must. I. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now. I apologize for Santa Claus 3 podcast audio quality is probably awful we were out of energy we were exhausted we were just tired in general that's the same thing but we were just tired of recording stuff we just had to record it that night and we just finished the movie it was late craig wasn't working so i had to use it had to use obs to record it i apologize for that i apologize for that one so we're gonna go watch the how the grinch christmas um in the meantime, y'all. We didn't should... talk. Of, wait, we didn't talk about our. We didn't talk about uh, our experience. Oh well, what's your experience with this movie? Oh, uh, I remember the Grinch well. I have a Grinch plushie that I might have gotten with either the book or the movie. I'm not sure which. Well, does it look like Jim Carrey? No, no, it looks like the cartoon Grinch. I used <sighs> to, um, as a kid, when I would see the costume or whatever, like like certain scenes. I, I, I was a kid, so I didn't understand, like, you know, like, latex bodysuits and things like that. So I straight up just thought, like, they, like, like Jim Carrey was just straight up, like, naked underneath, because it looked like you could see, like, his, like, butt <laughs> in, like, in the back, because of how the fur was. I just thought he was just straight up naked, under, like, with just, like, just pasted green fur on him. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't, that was an interesting time in my life. Um, basically, for me, this is, for, like, the past, like, like almost 10 years this has been the movie this is the movie we watch um either on christmas eve or christmas it's like our tradition thing. oh yeah that definitely is, is that until it? someone steals the dvd we have oh, we have we had a vhs we watched but oh oh i yeah i, I used to watch it on vhs i used to have it have on you, VHS. Have you guys, i don't know what happened have you guys ever watched it on abc family during this time with the I hate unrelated, un, unrelated, you know, 25 Days of Christmas at, you know, I hate, Polio. I hate where, um, I hate where the commercial breaks are in that movie on TV. Do, have you seen it recently, though? They do an extended cut of it. It is so, like, first time I watched it, it's, it was so weird. It's like two hours long. You know, minus commercials and everything. It's a, re it's a really long. It's really cool. They have, like, a couple scenes. Yeah, it's like a couple deleted scenes that are in it. Like, um, it's, like, there's a whole scene with, like, Cindy Lou at her school and, like, her teacher and everything. Um, it's, it's really cool, actually. Like next time it comes on this year, watch it for sure. So we're gonna go watch it. I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at the IMDb because I keep on like exploring IMDb. I'm looking at the parental parental guide on it. So sex and nudity, it's a mild. Twenty seven out of sixty eight people found this to be mild. Um, oh, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, after the Grinch gets launched, he lands in between Martha's breasts and <laughs> into her cleavage. <laughs> while, the, oh, they will... <laughs> while in still oh, the same they... position, he mumbles into her cleavage. Well, oh, Martha. <laughs> the only one, like the only other one I could think of that would be kind of like that would be him making kiss Max's butt. Um, 
and it's well that it's like there was that and then that um martha is like sleeping uh she was sleeping in something i don't know the grinch appears naked in a few scenes in the movie but nothing is showing according to this comment just me oh he did not like a whole movie at the beginning of the hoovalation he's like don't touch me there uh <laughs> oh <laughs> the last one <laughs> the last one is what you just said pop the um the mayor and, the, and max is it's impolite that a man dreaming about kissing a woman is actually kissing a dog's bottom <laughs> it says bottom i love how i love how politically correct they make it the imdb <laughs> page i mean Because you gotta be careful what you say these days. Yeah. I'm, I'm just still looking at this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go watch the movie. And... Yeah, go get your some hot cocoa. <clears throat> <Ooh. laughs> where's, my, where's my juice? I got juice. I got like a whole like... Get you some hot cocoa, juice. some hot well, it's like, cool hash. It's not like a whole... A whole not a whole carton, it's just like... It's just like the rest of the carton, and I want to. I don't want to. We are. We have like a bunch of dirty dishes. I don't want to have to get another one. I want to have to get a cup, and you know, it's easier just to drink it out of the carton. It's right under. Get finish that anyways. prime roast beast. It's really it good. Is a it's, that you it's will really be good. Able it's really um, good. the least. Because everybody cares about what juice I'm drinking. It's dull, 100 percent juice. It's pineapple, orange, banana. It's really good. So, um, blend of apple, pineapple, orange, banana juices from concentrated and other natural flavor ingredients. Mm. Yeah. That could make one interesting smoothie. So, uh, we're gonna watch the movie. Yep. Oh, I forgot to set pulp in it. Oh god, that was disgusting. Oh, there was just something. There was just something floating around in it. Oh god, that. Oh god. We'll see you after a really weird transition. Yep. I don't know what I'm gonna do for it. So, but yep. Get some hot chocolate. Uh, read the book. Don't watch the 2018 version or whenever that came out. And it was. Bye. I want to say it was. Well, say go ahead. We'll finish it. I don't know. I <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch it. I bye. Saw it on my we gotta go. All right. All right. Bye. I'm not talking to you anymore. In fact, I'm going to whisper so that by the time my voice reverberates off the walls and gets back to me, I won't be able to hear it. And we're back from watching the movie. How'd you guys like it? It was quite the spectacle. I love the artist's direction, portraying the Grinch as more of a humanistic character, with qualities of someone struggling, trying to build themselves from a life of nothingness, and becoming accepted at the very end, falling in love with the one that he cares about. Funny green man. Oh, he made... He made... Make he made Christmas tree go up in flame. Hehe, <laughs> boom boom. Yeah, but if you think about it, the Grinch tells us a very important lesson about life and how you should accept people racist. for who they are. To not be racist, because they're literally that scene, right? He's like, it's because I'm green, isn't it? Um. Well, that, I mean, that, it's a simple for racism. More or less, but. Pop it in I, I have juice. I was going. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is good juice. Pop in her chat is just like, why are you sighing? I'm like, I have juice. I just have been. Yeah. yeah. It's obviously a symbolism for racism. If you think about Anyways. It. And it also man. mentions the same issue that <laughs> uh, the Peanuts Christmas does with the fear of Christmas becoming overly commercial. And then you go to Hallmark every Christmas and what is there? Snoopy, 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 Woodstock, 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 Charlie Brown, Brown, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. I went to the Brown. dollar store and I saw the Peanuts Christmas wrap. It was right there with the Paw Patrol yeah. gift wrap. Yeah, they're like, oh, don't commercialize Christmas. That's bad. That's bad. Apple TV you know, exclusive. <laughs> exactly. Yep. You go, you go to any store during this time now. Like, I'm just gonna. That's all you see. <laughs> I'm just gonna start off here. Um, why is the Grinch a mood? He really is. We all grew up to become the Grinch, honestly. 
Uh, some of us more than others. That is legit. The legit. The scene where he's like, hate, 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 hate. Lord, George. Like that scene. You was that you get a Netflix. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's me looking at Netflix originals, except for Claws, Hilda, Green Eggs and Ham. You see, Green Eggs and Ham. I mean, I just finished the first season of The Unicorn. I have not seen that. I like the animated originals. Claws. I would have added Claws to the list of movies we should watch, but these are like kind of supposed to like nostalgic thing things that just came out like last year. Yeah, so, yeah. But I think in our free time we should we should watch Claws honestly because Claws like because it's like I say in every single one it's November for us right now, but we're trying to record these in advance just in case you know this is your first time watching one of these. It's November eighth right now, so. And I've only edited the first one, because I have life issues that are going on right now, but I'm not opening that can of worms. Oops. What was my point? I had a point. That we are trying to get this through quick so that we can get we were, it just no, no. in time for the holiday season. No, no, I was going to say we should watch Claws all together, just in our free time. During Christmas time, we should watch Claws, because uh, I know Poppy, I know Poppy haven't seen Claws, but again, have you seen Claws? Never seen it. No, no. <laughs> all right, you guys will like it. If you haven't seen Claws... Go on another website. Don't go on Netflix. Don't support Netflix. Go on some other... Well, actually... Hmm. Should support the movie. I'll be supporting Netflix. Uh, it's a vicious cycle. On the one I hand, mean, you're supporting an evil company, and on the other, you're supporting a passionate artist. What I'm probably going to do is... If I want to watch Green Eggs and Ham again, I'm just going to buy the DVD that's coming out. You know, it's going to... It'll support the animations company. I don't have to use Netflix, so, like... Yeah, but won't that also support Netflix because they have the syndication rights? Yeah, but it's a one-time purchase rather than paying for a subscription. Oh, oh, right, right. Makes sense. I want a Hilda. I want a Hilda a physical release, but no. God. Anyways, The Grinch. <laughs> um, have you like heard about like the behind the scenes of The Grinch? It is insane. Like Jim Carrey, you know how he's like very he's a very flexible man and everything. And he's like, not flexible, he's like a very like active guy, you know, he's like, has to move. He had to sit for like hours in the mega booth. They actually had to hire a military like person that taught him how to withstand like torture. Because he had to sit perfectly still for hours. It is insane what he had to go through, like the makeup process. Was, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't it he, like, he said it was really uncomfortable? Yeah, I mean, I would assume so. And I, there's behind the scenes footage. Um, the director like wore the suit just to see what it was like. So <laughs> there's like two Grinches, and he's like, the, you know, I like directors are, so he's like, like calling everybody go be on the set. Look, just like basically the Grinch was directing it. It was funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see what else is that? Oh yeah. What do you guys think about the Who's faces, like the like the snouts? What do you think of that? They're yeah, alright. Kind of, it's, it's a controversial thing. If if I'm being honest, they're not that big a problem. It's just to make it so they don't look as human. Yeah, honestly, it melts away after a while. You don't see it after a while. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, your brain is just used to it. it okay, in the scene when the Grinch is, like, going down, the, like, the pipe or whatever, and he's, like, going to Whoville, and, like, this the camera is spinning or whatever, and, like, like sp it spins around, and, like, the like the center is, um, Cindy Lou's nose. This is such a weird thing to point out. But I always hated, I always hated that shot, like, how it focuses on her nose. I don't know why. I just always hate that shot. Huh. Yeah. There's a lot of awkward silence. So, the good thing we have is pretty Christmas music in the background. <laughs> um, I was looking at the facts about the movie. Okay, apparently, Max was played by a female dog because they didn't oh, yeah. want to have a dog's um, uh, like show all the like all the dog male dogs part right, right. in the movie and it'd be like <laughs> be all weird. I knew it was played by yeah, um, played by dog named Lucy. I'm pretty sure. I remember reading something about Jim Carrey like. He was at the premiere of the Sonic movie, and, like, there was this mom and her daughter, like, Hey, you know that man? He's the Grinch! And Jim Carrey's, like, coming up behind this mom, and is like, I've got to stop Christmas from coming! And he's doing the Grinch, Grinch face! 
I'm not to stop this Christmas from coming. <laughs> and like the mom's like shocked that he can make his face stretch that much. <laughs> She's like, I thought that was makeup. Okay, here's another <laughs> fact. This would have been completely different, probably. It was almost directed by Tim Burton. Ooh. Oh. That would have been weird. That would have been cool. What? This, just like oh Elmo. Oh my god, I really want that now. And heck, that was back when Tim Burton could still make good movies. Oh, don't even get me started about Dumbo. Don't even get me started about Dumbo. We don't talk about Dumbo. It was pretty dumb. Bo, <laughs> that was the stupidest joke I'm ever going to make on this podcast, and I apologize I was, for that. I only watched that movie because we were desperate for something to do as a family that day. My sister was going to it, and I was like, ah, maybe it'll have some, maybe it'll be good. No, it you wasn't. You made the mice silent! You think people the watched girl, Dumbo the back girl then does because not they express. cared about the kid? The girl does not express at all it is I mean, it, 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 it's you see an elephant fly right in front of you what do you do oh just like a mm, kind of face not like a wow an elephant just flew just, ugh, i don't like this movie I don't like that movie i mean if you're gonna cut something like cut the problematic crows or something don't yeah. don't suck the fun out Oh, they really suck the fun out. They, okay, it seems like what it was, Tim Burton had this idea for a family that worked in the circus. And Disney was like, ooh, we're, we're actually we're thinking about doing a live-action Dumbo movie. Do that. And Tim Burton is just like, okay. Yeah. And he barely had his hands on it. From what I've heard, he did not have his hands on it that much. They just used his name and his people. I feel uh, like... I he won't you stop. gotta Tim stop Burton. taking these jobs, man. You, you guys, Burton, pink elephant sequence. That sounds like just amazing. What? What is it? Oh, just not. It's just like it's just this weird bubble scene. Nothing special to it. I was honestly you, so disappointed when that happened. Do you, do you guys want me to read an excerpt from a, 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 an article about just the Grinch? Just a second. Just a second. Ooh. I just want to just mention that about my legit rage I just had about the Dumbo movie. But I can make a I can make a whole rant video on that. Maybe I will. Who knows? Anyways, go on, buddy. Okay. Well, I'll read an excerpt. While the task of putting the outfit on and dealing with the, its extreme discomfort levels in each worthy of its own, is worthy of its own <laughs> entry, the sheer amount of times Carrie had to don the full to, to, to don. This is terrible grammar. This is to don instead of to don. The full Grinch getup was bafflingly high. Doesn't make sense, what? Since there was no scene with Carrie out of makeup, every scene he shot required a green makeover. That meant over the course of a year-long shoot, he had to wear the suit for 92 days total. Wow. Like, that grammar is awful. Oh my god. It was hard to read. They're not fact- did they not reread it? I don't know, maybe maybe they were on a deadline. You know, like how some people might be with like a high school or college paper. <laughs> you don't have time to make it good, you just have time to make it. Alright, I'm going to read some reviews. Alright, this is from November 27th of, t of 2000. The title is, oh this is from Don's Gal. The title is... No kidding, comma. It was great! What's up with you guys? Okay, and then this is the actual review. Oh, and it's a... Oh, it doesn't have a star rating. Okay, so... Well, I finally broke down and went to see it. I was hesitant after reading all the pans here. E-gad! It was a great movie. You can't compare it to the original any more than you can compare it to... Compare Scrooge to, to the internal Dickens classic. It has its own life. Jim Carrey was amazing. How he can deliver so many feelings and emotions behind 10 pounds of latex in, is fantastic. Some scenes, or parentheses, obviously impromptu, improv, and um, parentheses, were so funny I nearly wet myself. These the sets were great and nearly not nearly as overblown as I had expected. As for the prequel portion, well, it was only so-so. The best part of the whole show was when the 
when they sing Ahu Dora's song at the end, which has always been my most favorite Christmas song ever. I recommend this movie highly to kids and adults. As for the negative comments on IMDb.com, I gotta say, quote, end quote, get over it, you bunch of Grinches, and then, like, way too many exclamation points, like six. Wow. Okay, here's another fact. Um, Jim, Jim, Jim Carrey would disappear off the set and nobody would know where he went for, like, days in the heat. And he just said he was having personal problems and didn't explain where he was, oh. so they just missed several shoot days. I shouldn't have laughed at that then. <laughs> it, just feels like, it just feels like a Jim Carrey just just it just feels like a Jim Carrey thing. Like he just like just disappears for days. <laughs> then, no, he just like having like mental issues, like, okay. And I wonder what it's like to be friends with Jim Carrey. Yeah, I gotta say something real quick. That review, um, that, that review is more insightful than the Nostalgia Critic one is. Um, apparently, all, all Jim Carrey said was he had an addiction. So, I guess you can assume what it was. Wait a minute, what the heck? I'm looking at IMDb. It says, um, connections. <laughs> Connections featured in Nostalgia Critic The Cat in the Hat 2013. <laughs> what? Okay, we need to see more. I want to see what else there is. Oh, it's just it's like. Oh, oh, that's cool. It's, oh, that's cool. It's like references in other media. That's cool. Shrek? What? Wait, what? It just says Shrek. It doesn't say it just says Shrek 2001. I don't know what that means. I guess because they're both green men. I think it's just how the green stole Christmas in general. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Y'all ever play the Game Boy Color game of uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas? No. It has weird anime-esque cutscenes. Ooh. Like, you got the Grinch with an anime face in it. Yeah. I think the Game Boy Advance game might have been Japan exclusive, but I don't know. Okay, so I found the actual I found the actual thing. So it's, it's according to Rick Baker, the prosthetic makeup, Jim Carrey wore, took about two hours to apply, <clears throat> to apply and one hour to remove. It was it was rumored that Carrey felt so com confined and uncomfortable in the latex skin that he sought counseling from a CIA agent who taught him torture resistance techniques. But... Wow. Oh. oh, and Max was called Kelly, not Lucy, all right. Her name, his, or her actual name was Kelly. Man. Jim Carrey goes all out for a role, huh? <laughs> That's cool. Um... Okay, it's, it's pointing out some, like, your improvised stuff. Um... The scene where the Grinch is like, we, he's like, you know how he's like directing Max? He's like, yeah. okay, you right, you right, Christmas, and all that. That was actually um, Jim Carrey making fun of um, the producer and the director, the director uh, Ron Howard. <laughs> like, he was like imita imitating like, his style of directing, so Ian loved it so much he kept it in. And the, um, <laughs> the line, 630, <laughs> the 630 PM, dinner with me, I can't cancel that again. That was improvised by Jim Carrey. I love that. Uh, uh, that's amazing. You're an idiot! You're an idiot! Oh, that's cool. Um, his I'm an, you're an idiot. He, um, so he was obviously wearing yellow contact lenses, but they were so uncomfortable that he wasn't able to wear them at all the time during filming. So some shots, his eyes were um colored in post production. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, he's, wear, he's wearing that, but he's probably so sweaty in that Grinch costume. I mean, I mean, imagine barely be able to see added. Yeah, the only other costume I can think of for like that was the uh, Ninja Turtle costumes in like the early Ninja Turtle movies. Yeah. Because I they remember only... the suit performers in that compared it to Vietnam. They, um, I know it's unrelated, but they could, they could only wear the suits for 10 minutes at a time before they had to, uh, literally wring them out due to sweat. 
Wow. And it would be super I, heavy. I listened to another podcast where they got a Goosebumps monster actor on. And so he had to wear like a monster suit, right? So they would, they, what they would do, they would film the scene, right? And once they were done, they would run over to him or he would run over to them. They would rip the back off, right? And just stick this giant fan on the suit to cool him off because the suits were so hot. Wow. I don't know. I could not do it because like he was saying, the masks that they were wearing are like on your face, like on your face, like not a few inches away or anything, like literally touching your face kind of thing. Like you feel so confined. I could not do that. I've I've heard. I mean, I probably could, years. but that's just because I wear a mask a I, lot. I, I've been hearing about this for so long. Okay, the dude, a dude in the Barney suit, did not catch on fire. Wait, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Have you ever seen Barney? Like, the longest, been the longest time that, um, like there was like, there was like a cool, some they had like a cooling system in one of the Barney suits. And like it like malfunctioned and like caught a dude on fire. <laughs> I Barney don't think bloopers that's are amazing. Not true. We just talk yeah. in a normal voice. Barney bloopers are just so surreal. <laughs> he like, stays in he character. Stays in character. <laughs> he stays in character to me. This one blooper, he's just like laughing hysterically with Baby Bob, and it's just <laughs> I forgot what he says, but he's like maybe I can become president or something like that, and then. And Baby Bob's like on the ground with her feet up. She's like, "Ah, oh, ah, oh, somebody changed me." <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's oh, Lord. Uh, they must have had a lot of fun shooting Barney. Yeah, and I, I, I found it on Twitter. I found out about these bloopers on Twitter because someone like posted. It just it seems like a normal little clip from Barney or whatever. And then Baby Bob's hands go up, and then you, and then like the head comes off. It like kind of you see the person, the actor's face threw me off so much because I genuinely did not expect it. Oh my god, it like actually like scared me at first. I was like, what? Oh, that's cool. Um, well, that was a, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird, my voice. Um, the Mac, Max was, okay, I was, I'm sorry, I, sometimes I just do that. I just like space out. Max was going to be CG originally. Whoa, CGI. whole dog? Yeah. I can imagine it would have looked like the Scooby-Doo CG. Yeah, it, it, it would have probably been more... Good. It would pro it would probably been, like, more stylistic. So it probably wouldn't look as, like, you know? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I still can't believe we're living in the timeline where Tim Burton didn't direct it. I wonder what the timeline for that would have been like. It was... A lot darker. I, I was looking at it. I was looking at... I'm looking at IMDb right now, the trivia and everything. Um... It was saying that it was had it was conflict because it was conflicted because he was doing another movie at the time. So, what's Wait. he doing? I wonder. It could have been. It could have been the like a stop motion. Was... Could have been like a stop motion movie because those take so long to make. When did the Corpse Bride come out again? I'm not sure. I like oh, I like how in this one in our, in, our, in our other three podcasts when we talk about like the Santa Claus and everything, we just talk about it for like not even five minutes, and this entire bit thing has been about the Grinch. It's just we more to talk about, honestly. It, well, there yeah, honestly I mean, is a lot more to talk about. I mean, Jim Carrey is an amazing actor. Have you seen Liar Liar? I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. Like, I, it I, has him playing a very silly lawyer. There is a... Okay. Okay. The, okay. Um, two movies with Jim Carrey. That... Okay, Bruce Almighty... You can pitch this to anybody who knew just Jim Carrey, but haven't seen the movie. Just all you gotta say is just Jim. It's Jim Carrey, but he gets the powers of a god. That just—it's amazing concept, and it's a really good movie. And then okay. there's Truman Show. Oh, sorry, Pop. Go ahead. You can go. You this can say adds it. up. Okay, again, this adds up. Okay. Okay, Grinch was made in 2000, right? Yeah. And. So that motion movies usually take about five years to make. So of course, right came out in 2005, so that must have been the movie. Wait, what came out in 2005? Corpse Bride came out in 2005, Just so that must have been the movie Burton was working on. No, so take no, five it years to make. no, it couldn't have, because Grinch came out in 2000. They started filming probably in 1999, if not well, like, yeah. sooner. Like, production of the Grinch, like, production of a movie takes like four years. Any kind of movie takes about four years. Except so. for the uh, Banana Splits movie. That took them, like, two. It depends. Most Awful. movies like this would take about four to five years. 
it just really it depends. I don't know the whole production cycle of this one. I can look it up though. But um, okay. Then there's Truman Show. Sonic like three years it came out. Come out. It depends on the movie. Yeah. Um, Truman Show. I just thought I didn't know anything about Truman Show when I wa- watched it for the first time. I just thought you know like oh it's Jim Carrey. He finds out he's in a TV show. This is gonna be hilarious. No. <laughs> so depressing. <laughs> it turned into this like existential thing, and it's just like. It's a it's a really good movie, yeah. I, I, I didn't expect it to be like that. They coined a mental disorder after that movie. It's a really oh. interesting idea. <laughs> Called the so Truman Show effect, where there are people who actually believe that their characters in a TV show. Honestly, if I were in a TV show, this is a boring show. For me, I'd be the weird, wacky side character who gets the really bad spin-off. <laughs> Planet Gindy. da da ba ba da Huh? What are you- what are you- what are you hawing about? Well? Hmm. Uh, Why are you being so quiet? What's happening? I'm I'm looking I'm... at uh the thing. I forget. I fi- oh okay, yeah. Who? Um, the director is like dad or whatever. The um, the, you know, the old guy's like that's my good stuff. You know, and like he like drinks the Grinch like drinks the alcohol and like like yeah. uses the light of the tree. That's actually the director's dad, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. Can I wet my whistle? Well, uh, that's my good stuff. I wonder though, does Jim Carrey like get flashbacks with the movie, or is he like cool with it? Because that must have um, been the most pressure Jim Carrey was under. Who was the director of this again? Uh, Ron Howard. You know, yeah, he was he was the uh, he was the kid on the Andy Griffith Show. I've never seen the Andy Griffith Show, so I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, really? The director was the. Oh wow! Oh man, that that hurt. Makes you realize how old he is. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I know that the older folk in my family would watch the Andy Griffith show all the time. He was born in, in 1954 and he's 66. Wow. Is he younger than um, I thought he would be? Um. I'm gonna just... Oh, wait, really? Huh. Uh, where are you Christmas? Was, where are you Christmas? That was written by uh, Mar- Mar- Mariah Carey. Uh, that I song will get you a copyright strike in a second. Yep. And you can go to any, go to any, any retail store and you'll hear it right now. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But I didn't know she wrote that. That's cool. I, I want, know this I weird want... cover of it that's based on a show I like. <laughs> I want, um, I want that Grinch, the baby Grinch. I want that animatronic, honestly. That's so creepy. I want it for my house. Can we just, can you just, like, show that on screen right now? Yeah, I'm trying to put it up. Oh, it's so, it's so creepy. Well, I'm sure people know what it is, I mean. Yeah, plus, it's got a weird cuteness to it. I like After, it. But what, tw- what, 21, tw- 20 years? 20 years. Yeah, it wasn't taken care of properly, so... Yeah, I've been Have hearing you... about some puppets in big movies that keep rotting away because they weren't given the proper treatment. Um, have have you seen the website. original Ninja Turtles? I forgot what the website's called. It's like a pro- it's, but you can buy movie props on it. You can buy one of the, um, the snouts of the, of the, of the Who's. That's kind of cool. I think it was like, it was like a couple of hundred and it was kind of cool. I the original Ninja Who. Turtles are terrifying now. Oh yeah, because of the rubber or whatever. Will you be my elf? We did that movie yesterday! That's yesterday's movie pop. It's just a a weird line. (laughs) I'm not going to ask again. 
Will you be my L? Did you guys know that the snow was actually crushed up marbles? I think. I don't know. I'm not saying on the IMDb, but I knew about that. Crushed up Who? marble? Yeah, like crushed marbles. Up. Like not, not marble, like marbles. Like, you know, like you can get like a bag of marbles, you know, and like yeah, school yeah. kids out school kids out in the playground, like, ooh, we're throwing marbles! I'm like, I don't even know how to play marbles. Uh, so you, uh... Oh, great. Um, <laughs> you take those <laughs> thingy, spiky things, right? That the that guy in Monster Jinx. Jinx. He, the guy that, the guy that Monst- oh, in that's Monster Jinx. Jinx. Where he, like, got him on his butt. I don't know how to Nothing. play it. That's Jax! Is, like, is, is it, like, marbles? Is it, like, Bakugan or something? <laughs> no. Here's how you play marbles. You draw the circle in the ground, you put the marbles in the middle, you try to flick out as many of them as you can. Wait, is Bakugan just, mar- Wait, is Bakugan just complicated marbles? It's everything, marbles Pop, everything, math. Every game is complicated marbles. <laughs> All right. think about That's it, interesting. complicated marbles. Okay, this, this, just is thinking. Thing, this is a good thing to live by. Every game is either marbles or not marbles. I mean, everything in the world is either a potato or not a potato. That's so inspiring. Everything in this world is either a subscribe button to us or not a subscribe button to us. You better right now. Please. <laughs> you better right now or I swear to God, I will, literally, I will literally come in your house and steal all your Christmas presents just like the Grinch. It's true. He's got spiders in his soul. Um, so Jim, 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 Jim Carrey's Grinch suit is covered in yak hair. That's pretty interesting. You know why? I'll tell you why. I'm assuming you're you're allergic, folks at home. No, um, the well had hair from a yak, so yeah, it's pretty neat. He actually owned that still, but like he charitied it or he um donated it to charity. He like. Y'all remember that cartoon Yakety Yak that was on Nick? Pop told me I lagged out, so let me just say that again. Um, the Jim Carrey, or not Jim Carrey, the David Hasselhoff giant, like, like filming thing. Because in the SpongeBob movie, they filmed some with David Hasselhoff and some with a like a like a giant, like I think like ten foot long, um, David Hasselhoff model, and it had hair from a yak. Um, he actually had that for a while, but. I think I don't know if he, I think he bought he didn't have it then he got it and then he um bit it off and then just donated all the proceeds to charity. Imagine Bro. having a imagine having a giant uh yourself. I would, I would honestly I want that I want that I want that David Hansel off. Cardboard hey. cut out someday. <laughs> He's just gonna get a cardboard cut out of, of of David Hasselhoff from the SpongeBob movie. Or we'll get the we'll get the Polar Express director, not the director, the conductor from Polar Express. <laughs> it's like Unus Honest, which is gonna be gone by the time this gets uploaded. More like Unus. It's been about. 40 minutes. I think we can probably actually wrap, wrap it up now. Yeah. It's been fun, y'all. Um, tomorrow will be Arthur's Christmas, which I am very much looking forward to because we're Is watching Arthur that Christmas tonight. Or Ar- Is it Arthur Arthur's Christmas, Christmas or Arthur's? Arthur Christmas, because it's like it's like Father Christmas, but he's Ar- Arthur Christmas. Oh, whoopee do! I've, I've seen it once. Going down the chimney. I've All seen right. it once. Sh- came out. Sh- 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 save it for the next. Save it for next week. Or tomorrow, I mean. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we kind of rewind. Merry, merry, non demange, not non distinguishable holiday. Um. See you later, alligator. Uh, some kind of Grinch related quote. I don't know. Great, you guys, any got? It's good enough for me. Bye. <laughs>